Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Uh, so another clutch today. Uh, this is Memorial Day, so it'll be a little while till this video comes out, but uh, I wanted to try and do something a little different. So I'm actually recording this uh, after we've pulled the clutch because I, uh, I'm going out of the country uh, next month in just a few weeks, and I do have a snake that's set to lay, and I've been trying to get my son ready to pull the clutch while I'm gone. Um, so I tried to give him the opportunity to pull this morning just so he could get some practice in, but uh, he was a little shy. I think the fact that I had the camera rolling made him nervous, and um, he, he thought I was going to teach him, and he was just going to watch me, but I was actually trying to get him to do it. Um, now my son is on the autism spectrum. So sometimes things like this, uh, just it's process for him. Um, if nobody was watching, his mom wasn't here, he'd probably do a lot better. But for some reason this morning, he got really kind of anxious about it. So I kind of stepped in, he did help me get her off the eggs and, uh, and put her away for me, but I kind of stepped in and just took over and started showing him for the rest. So you'll see that here in a second, as we pull the clutch, It'll be a little different and it's going to be quick, but, uh, uh, always exciting to get another clutch. So let's take a look and see what we got. All right, we got another one. Looks like she's done. Look at there. This is our first clutch with bell opportunities. And my son is going to practice. This is the first time taking a clutch of eggs. Go ahead, bud. You know what to do? Come on, step up. So the first thing you want to do is kind of divert her attention. She doesn't look too, too upset. So I'll cover her head like that, then grab her tail. Yeah, she's hissing. That's okay. Looks like a good clutch. You just kind of grab her tail. Use both hands. So upper body with one and try and pull her tail out this way. Man, she is holding tight. Look at that. That's a beautiful clutch. So you're just trying to kind of unwind her off. And then we just want to look, at least look and check. Doesn't look like she's got anything else. Go ahead and put her in the holding tub. All right, a little shy there, but I'm going to be out of the country, so he's going to have to help out. But look at this. This looks like a great clutch. Let's see. I got, what, two, four, six, eight, nine... Nine eggs, one in the middle. Awesome. Let's get a weight on them. All right. 944 grams. That's awesome. It's a great weight for nine eggs. It means they're all over 100, at least average over 100. Let's put them in the box and we'll candle them. All right, so we're going to candle these real quickly. They're laid nice and perfect, so I'm probably going to try and leave them all together as long as they'll fit in the box. Can't. Things look good. I don't see where the embryo is on this one, but it should be fine. There's the embryo. Some of them are on the sides. I think I'm going to leave this one together, though. Check this one underneath here to make sure you can't see real well because they're just all on top of it. <laughs> so hopefully that little one, maybe I'll just try and separate this top one. They're pretty easy. Oop. Oh, I guess my battery. Oh, no. <laughs> just clicked it off. separate this top egg because it's hiding that bottom one so when that baby comes poor little guy won't be able to get out everybody's sitting on top of me very gently here and so to be clear I probably it, it would be just fine if I left these the way they are but I couldn't see veins on that one from the bottom, so I wanted to see it. All right. Cool. Let's see if we can keep these from touching the side. Just barely. All right. You want to hit the light for me? 
the switch. All right, here we go. Lights back on. Now, so I'm trying to position these very carefully so they'll sit down nice and low. But I want to make sure that none of the eggs are actually in contact with the sides. You can already see this egg, this tote has been or this tub has been in the incubator and there's actually condensation on the sides. You don't want the condensation directly on the eggs. I know I've said that before, but if you haven't seen previous videos, you don't want the condensation directly on the eggs. So this one that I pulled off to the side here, we'll go ahead and label that number one. Oops. And two, three, four. Eight. And lucky number nine. So interesting enough, this will be the first one I haven't separated this this year, but they're they're just stacked nice and well. So we're gonna leave it that way, get them in the incubator. Um, <clears throat> the pairing for this one is a bamboo inchy pinstripe to a pastel lesser. So nothing super crazy out of this clutch, probably, but my hope is to see a lot of bells, blue-eyed leucistics. Um, the bamboo and lesser gene give me bells. So that's what I'm shooting for. But those other combinations of genes can make some really, really pretty babies as well that uh, will be good. You know, not the best for, for breeders, but most people are just looking for pets. So we'll get some cool looking pets out of this one too. And uh, who knows, every now and then you get a surprise. So maybe we'll get a surprise. But that's it for this clutch. I'm going to get it in the incubator and we'll see. All right. Well, wasn't that awesome? What an amazing clutch of eggs. I'm really excited for those nine eggs and we may get some blue eyed leucistics, hopefully a lot of blue eyed leucistics, hoping for half, but you never know. Um, both of those genes have to get in there. So uh, it's not statistically likely that half will be bells, but everybody loves a good bell. They're gorgeous. So anyway, um, thanks for tuning in. Uh, that didn't go quite as planned. But uh, it was an opportunity to show my son how we do it. And my wife was observing as well. He just got a little nervous with the camera rolling, feeling like he was put on the spot. And uh, that's kind of difficult for him. So anyway, he, he still did a great job. He helped me out. And uh, he, he really actually enjoys the snakes quite a bit. So they've been, um, they've been good for him over the last number of years as, um, as he's grown. But anyway, I'm rambling. I'll, I'll, I'll stop doing that. <laughs> But uh, hey, thanks for watching. Um, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I love to read your comments and respond to them. Uh, if you have a question, I will give you an answer. Might not be the right one, but I'll give you an answer. Anyway, thanks for tuning in again. And I just want to remind you to share the love of reptiles with anybody you can. See you guys later.